Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a straight table with mini charts and um, basically the first thing we do is create a new chart, choose straight table. What we want is country of origin as the dimension and we're going to add four expressions and I'm going to do them one at a time so basically we want sum of profit, paste gonna add another one the same again sum profit paste again we're gonna add a new one but this one is gonna be sum of orders placed and another one sum of orders placed and we're actually we're gonna do a final one while we're here and it's just gonna say flag So in the first expression we're just going to rename the label profit, the second one's going to be called weekly profit flow, the sum of orders placed, the label for the first one of those is going to be just called orders, the second label is going to be called weekly orders sorry weekly order flow and the final one is just called flag so in the weekly profit flow you, you, you're kind of considering why the have two the same but we're going to change the representation from text to a mini chart you have a new option then for a mini chart I'm going to choose week number, I'm going to stay with sparkline and for the high or for the max value I'm going to change the colour to really bright green and for the min value I'm going to change it to a rich red so click apply or sorry click ok. I'm going to do the same for the weekly order flow, mini chart, week number, I'm going to change this one to a bar chart we're going to choose the same colors for the, the max week and the min week. Just on the flag, because the flag is an image, we're going to change the representation to an image and we're going to say image formatting to keep the aspect. And click finish. So from all that we have a new straight table contain the profit the weekly profit flow just trying to drag this out okay that's not too bad I suppose um I'm fine just gonna adjust this up a little bit Okay, that seems okay now. Um, now one thing that we need to get rid of is the totals. So we're just going to go back into properties. And for each expression over here in the total mode, we're just going to say no totals. We're just going to choose in each expression and say no totals. So now you can see we've new straight table country of origin, profit, actually one final thing we, we need to format the profit as currency and the orders just to um, show the thousand separator so if you choose in the profit click money and it keeps default into this and you change that in the document properties but change that to euros Okay, profit seems to be fine now. I'm just going to go into the orders and the properties. Change that to number. I think from what I can remember, the precision is six. Let's click apply. Yeah, that's fine. So now we have a new straight table. We've all the countries on the left. Profit, weekly profit flow. So you can see for Latvia, 
are these are all made up numbers by the way but for Latvia the profit was 112,000 the best week was um, early on in the year actually we choose 2010 the profit for Latvia is 56,000 the bad, the bad week was early on in the year the good week was you know kind of September you could say um, so we just choose the UK 61,000 bad week just before the start of the summer good week just after the summer so I mean this is these are made up numbers but you can kind of get the gist of what I'm trying to show you here and again we have uh, we have the flight now but I've only got UK the USA and Australia from the previous video if I add the rest in the flag will appear so I'll just come and click clear there so you can see Australia and then weekly order flow for the number of orders and that's pretty much it that's a straight table with some mini charts sparkline and bar charts and also adding a flag um, I hope that helps and see you next video thanks